shoes for active boys and girls. And John C. Robert shoes for bigger boys and men. Present... Tom Corbett, Faith Cadet. Starring Frankie Thomas. Space Academy, USA, in the year 2353 A.D., the world beyond tomorrow, where space cadets train to defend the liberties of the planets and safeguard the cause of universal peace in the age of the conquest of space. And where today the distress call of a lone spaceman millions of miles from Earth is the only warning of impending disaster as Tom Corbett and the space cadets rocket through the void to the outpost of danger. Space Flash for all of you. Now you can get free your Space Cadet Play Box. It has an exciting Strato Treasure Hunt game, an interplanetary travel chart that tells distances between planets and Earth, cut out pictures of Space Cadet members, and your official membership card in the Tom Corbett Space Cadet Academy. All on this bright colored box that's absolutely free as your handy carry home box. Whenever you buy a pair of Red Goose shoes for active boys and girls, or John C. Roberts shoes for bigger boys and men. Now, for you fellows who like to be active and on the go, here's a great pair of shoes called Davy. They're a handsome brown moccasin type Oxford with a smart side buckle strap and feature a special rocket and meteor design on the toes. Neat looking. And they're plenty sturdy, too, with a long wearing interflex sole and rubber tap heel. Remember, with each pair of Red Goose shoes you buy, you get absolutely free your Space Cadet play box plus your miniature spaceman. See you on the space side, gang. Throughout the millions of miles of space from the sun to the orbit of Pluto, the rocket ships of the Solar Guard patrol the space lanes of the universe. These are routine flights with but one standard order. Be on the alert for trouble. Electric radar bridge. What's our position, Roger? We're passing Saturn satellite, Bemis, three degrees south of the ecliptic. Hey, listen, don't you think we've seen enough? How about heading back home? Not yet, pal. Our orders are to proceed to five degrees south of the ecliptic, and we're not changing course back to Earth until we reach okay, it. Okay, okay. Stop making like big brass. <laughs> All I know is I got a 24-hour pass coming up when we get back to Earth. There's a little space doll waiting for me. And if I'm late, you won't be... be. So relax. Control to power deck. Check in. Power deck, guy. What's doing, Astro? Ah, routine down here, Tom. Rocket head temperature's normal, maintaining one-half space speed. Right. Order. Hey, what's with Romeo, topside? Oh, he's giving me a tough time about turning back. He's got a hot date, and he... Hey, Tom, what's the matter? Hey, fellas, hang on. This is going to be close. Radar bridge, check in. Roger, what in blazes is the matter with you? Didn't you see that ship coming? Sorry, Tom, I saw it, but I thought it was going to pass the stern of us. They changed course all of a sudden. I'll say, I could have touched it. Hey, what's going on up there? It felt like the whole ship was coming apart. It almost did, Astro. Some hotshot was doing space acrobatics, and he almost clipped us. What a space-happy idiot. This is no place to be playing games. Boy, I'd like to get my hands on him. Me too, Astro. Roger, could you tell what kind of ship it was? A rocket scout, I think. I'm trying to pick it up on the scanner. Good. When you do get him on the teleceiver, order him to stop. We're going to pay him a visit. What's the big idea? Why, that joker is a menace. He ought to have his papers lifted, and we're just the fellows to do it. Yeah, 
Why do we always have to make like traffic cops? Rocket scout, Mimas Orbit. Rocket Cruiser Polaris, check in. Rocket scout from Rocket Cruiser Polaris, check in. Rocket scout from Polaris, acknowledge, acknowledge. Rocket scout from Polaris, come on, acknowledge, will you? You're not getting away with this one, hot shot. Come on, check in. You're just going to make it worse for yourself. Rocket scout from Rocket Cruiser Polaris, for the last time, check in, will you? On the button, Tom. Radar bridge control deck. We're in parallel orbit with the scout. Closing in fast. Okay, Roger. Control deck to power deck. Cut all main drive rockets. Cut main drive. Aye. Ready to blast braking rockets. One quarter. Braking rockets. One quarter. Standing by. Steady as she goes, Astro. Steady. Steady. Okay. Hit them. Hold it there till I give you the cut. Okay, Tom. Hey, what's the matter with the choker on that ship anyhow? Is he blind as well as deaf? Doesn't he know we're alongside of him? He'll find out soon enough. All right, Astro, cut all rockets. Energize magnetic couplers. Magnetic couplers, aye. Hey, not bad, Junior. The airlocks are in conjunction. You know, you're getting to be almost as good as I am. Oh, thanks, Roger. Coming from you, that's a real compliment. All right, Astro, secure ship. And stand by to meet us at the main airlock. We're going aboard that scout. Okay, Tom. Hey, Roger. Let's go. Great galaxy, look, folks. Is he asleep? Come on, wake up. We got a few things to say to you. Hey, wait a minute. He's not asleep. He's unconscious. Unconscious? What do you suppose happened to him? Well, it's hard to tell. He may have just blacked out, and yet it doesn't look like decompression shock. Well, what do you think we ought to do with him? Well, I suppose the best thing would be to take him back aboard the Polaris and see if there's anything in the flight kit that'll bring him around. Roger, you better stay here. What for? Well, somebody's got a man in the ship. That's it, Astro. Let's go. Hey, when do we blast back to Earth? When we're good and ready. Yeah, uh, wouldn't you know it? Boy, what hotshot heroes this crew's getting to be. Well, guess I can kiss my little space doll goodbye right now. I just can't understand it, Tom. Nothing we've tried has helped him at all. What do you suppose is wrong? I don't know, Astro. This is something we can't handle by ourselves. We'll just have to get him to a doctor fast. Yeah, the nearest one is on Titan. We gotta do some tall traveling. No, we won't. We're pretty close to Mimas. There must be a doctor at the colony there. Hey, good idea. We can put him in a bunk in our cabin and start blasting off. Right. Great galaxy, Astro. His face. What is it? Well, that rash. Was it there before? Well, it couldn't have been, or we'd have seen it. Where do you suppose that came from? He wasn't perspiring like this when we brought him in, either. Hey, this is getting stranger all the time. First, we can't bring him to, and he starts sweating, and now this rash. Tom, we better head for Mimas fast. Wait, Astro, that rash. Yeah? It reminds me of something. I've got it. The Titan expedition last year. What about it? Well, do you remember the way the first colonists all came down with some peculiar sickness and how fast it spread? Oh, yeah. Well, the symptoms of that sickness were exactly the same. Fainting, that heavy perspiration, and a rash. Astro, I'll bet my next year's leave this fellow has what they call methane sickness. Great galaxy. Sure, the disease you get from the methane in the atmosphere around Sahel. Oh, now, wait a minute, Tom. How could he get it in a rocket scout? Well, he must have come from someplace around here. You only use scouts for short hops. Probably caught it before he blasted off. Yeah, but caught it where? Titan? Saturn? Mimas? They all have anti-methane tablets now, and, and they even have anti-methane spray rockets to clear the atmosphere. Oh, no. People just don't get it anymore. Well, that poor guy's got it, so let's worry about how it happened later. You take him topside, and I'll contact Roger. Have him follow us into Mimas. Okay, but... Uh, you better break it to him easy. He's liable to fuse his tubes. I know. Rocket scout from Polaris. Rocket scout from Polaris. Come on, check in, Roger. I've got some good news for you. Yeah, well, I got a hot space flash for you, Junior. I'm not going in. Now listen, Roger. Oh, you listen. I'm not going to miss that date for anything. 
friends. Traffic cop is one thing, but I don't have to be a nursemaid, too. I'm gonna blast back to Earth. Okay, pal, I'll do whatever you want. We're heading for Mimas. But when that rocket scout runs out of fuel, and you have to send out a distress alert, you'd better have a good story to go along with it. Hey, now, wait a minute. Magnetic couplers are disengaged. Bon voyage, hotshot. See you back at the academy. Hey, Tom, wait! What a pal. Okay, Astro. Our little black sheep is following us. Now pour on the neutrons. Let's get the Mimas in a hurry. Give them the usual dose. But I can't, sir. There are no more anti-methane tablets left. Then, then just do the best you can. Make sure all the colonists stay inside their sealed huts. But the huts are leaking, sir. Methane gas with bacteria seeping through. The situation is hopeless. Control yourself, Morse. Help must get through to us soon. Blair has probably contacted Titan by now. Wait. Wait, I, I think I hear a ship landing now. Hello. Hello, Morse. Two ships just landed. We're going to be all right. I saw them, sir. One is our rocket scout and the other's a solar guard cruiser. They couldn't have the medical supplies we need. Maybe not, but they'll have something and at least, at least we've got word out. Sir, it'll be too late. We should have abandoned the colony long ago. I'll argue with you now. Come back here when you, when you finish your inspection. Oh, thank goodness you got here. We've been waiting for... Blair! What happened? Do you know this man, sir? Yes, of course. He's from the colony. I sent him out three hours ago. What, what happened? We found him in a rocket scout. He almost crashed into us. We brought him down here for medical attention. And you you haven't come to help us. You, you don't have any supplies. What supplies? Hey, if this is going to be a question and answer session, can we put this guy down somewhere? He's getting heavy. Uh, yes, of course. Take him into the other room. There's a... There's a cot in there. Come on, guys, please. Oh, why don't you close your face? Sir, you better call the, the Camp Medico. That man's in a bad way. We're all in a bad way. Cadet, even the Camp Medico. You mean this whole colony has come down with methane sickness? Exactly. That's why I sent Blair out in the rocket scout to get help. Oh. Well, what's happened here, sir? Nothing very complicated. Just a full-scale epidemic of methane sickness. How could that be possible? Don't you have anti-methane tablets? We did. They took care of the first few cases that were reported. But as you may know, the disease spreads very rapidly, and overnight it broke out all over the colony. Now we've used up our entire supply. Well, what about your spray rockets, sir? Unfortunately, we sent our entire supply to a research station on Saturn. We figured they needed it more up there. Well, why haven't you tried to contact Titan by audio receiver or Earth? We've tried, but we don't have enough power. Most of our men are sick. They, they can't man the generators. Oh, we can take care of that easily enough. We'll just shoot a call out through the long-range scanners aboard the Polaris. Good idea, Roger. Take care of it right now. Yeah. We'll have a whole fleet back in no time. In the meantime, we could go to that research station on Saturn and get the spray rockets. Boys, if we can do all that, I think we can save the colony. Mamus Control from Rocket Cruiser Polaris. Mamus Control from Rocket Cruiser Polaris. Come in, Captain Lane. This is Tom, Roger. Did you get through? You bet. Right to the old man himself. Commander Rockridge? Sure. When I do something, I do it right. Okay, okay, Hotshot. What's the story? Well, medical teams and supplies are being sent out from Ganymede. They should arrive tonight, tomorrow morning at the latest. All right, Roger. You stay on the ship. We'll be right out. Then we'll hop over to Saturn and pick up those spray rockets. Not so fast, Junior. We're not going anywhere. What do you mean? We've been ordered to stay aboard ship. Quote, we are quarantined to avoid contamination. Unquote. But those spray rockets are badly needed. Don't give me a bad time, Junior. I'm just telling you what the old man said. Oh. Okay, Roger. End transmission. Blast it. We can't just hang around here and do nothing. Oh, no use fusing your tubes, Astro. We've got to obey orders. The commander is right, boys. Exposure here and on Saturn might bring on the sickness. Yeah, but I'm willing to take that chance, sir. So am I, Astro, but there's nothing we can do about it. Captain, I hope you understand our position. Well, of course I do, Cadet, and... I want to thank you boys for all you've done. At least we know that help is on its way. Now, you'd better get back to your ship. Yes, sir. Sir, if there's anything you need, contact us, will you? 
We'll leave our audio receiver open. Right, right. Now, uh, get going, please. Okay? I feel kind of useless just sitting around here with all those colonists so sick out there. And did you notice the way Captain Lane was behaving? He's either exhausted I or... I know, or he's got the methane sickness, too. Yeah. Hey, Astro! Isn't that Roger walking across the spaceport? Yeah. What do you suppose that space jerk is up to? Well, he's probably going for us. But Captain Lane will send him right back. Yeah. Well, nothing to do now but sit and wait. Captain Lane. Captain Lane, snap out of the huh? door. Huh? Oh, oh, it's you, Mars. What's the matter, sir? Are you getting it, too? No, 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 just, just tired, that's all. Huh. What's your report? Four more cases, sir, and the rest are getting weaker and weaker. We can't hold out any longer. Yes, we can, Morse. We've got to. At least until tonight or tomorrow morning at the latest. We've got through the Earth. They're sending out medical teams and supplies. They won't be here in time. This colony's finished. Not if I can help it, Morse. But you can't. There's nothing you can do about it. We've got to clear out of here, all of us. And we've got to get out on that Space Academy cruiser. No. I'm ordering everyone aboard the Polaris. We're going to blast out of this disease-infested hole. Uh, look, Morse. I'm still in command here, and, and I say the colony is, is staying. Is it, Captain? Is it really? Yes. Yes, it is. As, as long as I'm in command... Oh, but he's, he's leaving. You're not in command any longer, Captain. I am. I'm taking over right now. And I say this colony is to be abandoned. Hi there. I'm Patty McCormick. Gee, hasn't it been exciting? Well, while we're waiting to see what happens next, I want to show you something that's real special. It's these wonderful red goose shoes I put on. They're called the Francine. Aren't they pretty? They're lovely black suede with a slim, smooth leather strap and a dainty buckle on the side. And they're so practical, too. See this black leather trim on the side and the toe? Well, it helps protect your shoes from mud and dirt when you're out playing. They have a long, wearing leather sole and tap heel. That means Mom doesn't have to worry about wear and tear on shoes, even if you're skipping rope or playing hopscotch. The Francine also comes in black patent leather and blue suede with red trimming. And you know something? Honestly, half the fun of having feet is wearing red goose shoes. Right you are, Betty. And be sure to look for the red goose label right in the shoe. Your guarantee of shoes built for action, comfort, style, and long wear. There are many Red Goose dealers in your vicinity. Here are the names of just... Emergency alert. Prepare for evacuation. At the south end of the spaceport is a rocket cruiser. Line up in front of its airlock in 20 minutes. Is that clear? The colony is to be abandoned. In transmission. Captain Lane. Captain Lane. 
Captain, you hear me? No. Come no. on, Captain, snap no, off. No, 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 what let you do it? No evacuation. He's going ahead with it. You've got to stop him. Those are my orders, Morris. The colony stays. Don't you understand, Captain? He's going ahead with it. Listen, can you tell me where those spray rockets are on Saturn? Can you give me the exact location of your advance base? Spray rockets? Advance base? Yeah, where's the stuff? <laughs> uh, on Saturn. Well, I know that, but where? <laughs> position, position is... Come on, you can't black out on me now. Tell me where it is. Position is, is 41 degrees. Yeah, go on. 41. North parallel belt. Can't you give it to me any closer than that? Radar. Radar homing beacon. Guide you right in. That's all I wanted to know. Okay, pal. You take it easy. We're taking over now. Don't give up the colony. Never give it up. Never! Roger should have been back by now. What do you suppose is keeping it? I don't know, Astro. I'm getting a little worried myself. If he isn't back in another couple of minutes, are we? But... Roger! Where in Jupiter have you been? Don't fuse your tubes. There isn't time. Just listen to me. A creep by the name of Morris wants to evacuate the whole place. He's ordered everybody to meet him over here. He wants to take over the Polaris and blast off to Earth. Take over the Polaris? Well, great galaxy. What's the matter with Captain Lane? Why doesn't he stop that guy? He can't. He's too sick. Morris can't do that. Who does he think he is? We don't take orders from him. I don't know, Astro. Well, He's an officer. Will you two guys stop it. talking and listen? I've got the exact location of those rocket sprays on Saturn. Why don't we blast off and go get them? We can't. You know the orders. We have to stay with the ship. Sure, but the CO did didn't say we'd, we couldn't blast off, did he? No, not exactly. You know, Astro, for once in his life, Roger's right. Those spray rockets are badly needed. We can't just sit around and let Morse take over our ship. Let's go, fellas. We'll crank her up. Full deck to power deck. Check in when ready, Astro. All set right now, Tom. How about you, Rog? Ready hours ago. All right, energize cooling pumps. Cooling pumps, high. But those pumps are not going anywhere yet. Well, what do you mean? We've got to get those spray rockets. The sprays won't do any good. The colonies to be evacuated. I'm here to take over the ship now. By whose authority? My authority, cadets. I'm your superior officer. Now get your crew up here and prepare to load the colony. And what if I refuse? I'll have you logged on charges of insubordination. What about your insubordination? Aren't you disobeying Captain Lane's orders? That's enough, cadets. Now get away from those controls. Come on, move. All right. All right, I'm moving. Get your hand off that intercom. I thought you wanted me to call the crew down here. I'll call them myself. Oh! Are you all right, Astro? Yeah, I'm all right. I just cracked my head on the star chart. It's a good thing I heard that guy over the intercom. It sure was. Hey, Junior, what's holding up the parade? Why don't we blast off? Right now, pal, we had a little trouble down here for a while, but everything's under control hey, now. Bob, he's getting away. Let him go. we got more important things to do. Yeah, he's probably going for help. I don't think so. Hey, are we going to take the whole colony with us? Look at all those people running across the spaceport. Oh, it's Tom, look at all of them. We'd better blast off. Yeah, and there's more standing right in front of the airlock, waving them on. We're going to get going. Now's the time. All right, get below and work fast. Wait a second. What about Morse? He'll be caught in the rocket squad. He'll get away fast enough when he hears us start out. Okay. Okay, Roger. We're ready to blast. About time, Junior. Astro, check in. Astro. Okay, Tom. All set. Start reacting feeders. Feeders at D9 rate. Switch in, take out gyros. Gyros on. Blast off, minus eight seconds. Seven. Horse is clear, Astro. Three, two, one. Yes, sir. It sounded like, like a rocket ship blasting off. It was the Polaris. The cadets have gone for the anti-methane sprays. Good. Good for them. And the colonists. And you're not going to evacuate them? Uh, no, sir. I've changed my mind. You're absolutely right about keeping the colony intact. Fine. Fine. I think we can, I think we can do it, Morse. It's all up to those, those boys now. Control deck to radar bridge. How close are we to Mimas? About to enter Mimas orbit, Tom. Good. Control deck to power deck. Power deck, aye. Astro, are those spray rockets?
Shots from the bomb base? All set, Tom. Look, are you sure you want to drop them? Why don't we spray the area? No, it would take too long for the stuff to reach the ground. Besides, I want to concentrate them right in the colony area. Okay, you're the boss. And keep those rockets hot. Radar bridge control deck, check in. Control deck high. We're over Mimas now. Ship steering vanes, five degrees starboard, three degrees down. Steering vanes, five degrees starboard, three degrees down. Check. Astro, give me a short burst on the steering rockets. Aye, Tom. <laughs> position now, Roger. This is it, Tom. Right over the colony. Okay. Astro, stand by to launch spray rocket number one. Standing by. Hit number one. Ready number two. Hit number two. Ready number three. Hit number three. Yes, Commander Arkwright. Everything is all clear here now, thanks to the crew of the Polaris. Captain Lane will send you a written report just as soon as he's cleared by the medical. Thanks for your cooperation. End transmission. Well, cadets? Yes, sir. My compliments, Corbett. You swing a mean right. Why? Frankly, I should give you all a shot at me after the way I behave. I, uh, I was way off my orbit. You three kept me from doing something very stupid. Forget it, sir. Well, we all pull boners sometimes. Uh, I, I mean... Uh, that's all right, Manning. But my boner was a prize. I hope I can live it down. Oh, don't worry, sir. As far as we're concerned, it never happened. I only hope that you understand why we did, well, what we did. Of course. As, uh, as a matter of fact, Commander Arkwright thinks that you were acting under direct orders from here, so you don't have to worry about facing him for disobedience. Oh, thank you, sir. He told me to tell you that, uh, because of the good job you did, you're all to get a full week's leave when you get back to Earth. Oh, oh, hey, <laughs> brothers, space dolls, here I come. And you, Manning. Uh, since you were responsible for the success of the operation, Commander uh, Arkwright has given me a special order for you. Yes, sir? You are to write up the official report of your mission, complete in every detail. Oh, fine, sir. But it's to be finished and submitted before you can take your leave. Congratulations, Roger. To the heroes go the rewards. <laughs> Corbett, Space Cadet, is brought to you by Red Goose Shoes and John C. Roberts Shoes. Be sure to join us again two weeks from today for another exciting space adventure that begins when... Okay, Roger. Rack up another orbit back to the Academy. Right. Rocket Cruiser Polaris, Cadet Corbett here. This is Lieutenant Morse, Corbett. Yes, sir. I've got a message from Space Academy for you, Corbett. You're to get back as fast as you can. Well, yes, sir, but any particular reason? Yes, you're to take part in a big space maneuver, the defense of planet Earth. Got it, sir, and transmission. Sounds like we're going to play soldier boy. Yeah, it does. Now, how about that orbit back to the Academy? Okay. Control deck to power deck. Astro, heat up your rocket tubes. We've got a date with a space battle. <laughs> Miss the next action-packed adventure when the rocket ships of the Solar Alliance prepare to repel a mock invasion of Earth and Tom Corbett and the space cadets go into action. Their target, danger. Television Network.